What is up guys, Lusty K here, and today I'm going to be playing my Sun Try Ultimate, and the quest I am doing is Motley Crew, which is a pretty easy quest which you think once you think about it. Like, it's five, but it's five monsters. It's the uh, new Urgent that came out, I believe, that came out uh, yesterday, and it is with the Baryoth, uh, Plesioth, Baryoth, um, Giggy, Steel Ergon, and so I'm missing somebody else, but it starts off with one monster like this, and then after you kill this one, wow, he broke his hands already? What? That dude's weapon is strong. Yeah, this quest is actually really, really fun. But the sucky thing is, it doesn't give any tickets. Like, it doesn't give its own custom weapon. You know how some quests gives you the custom weapon? Like, the Dragon's Roar that I have uh, gives you the custom, uh, I mean, the... <laughs> one of the like the uh, arena quest gives you like custom tickets so you can get uh like unique weapons i should say yeah those but this weapon this uh quest doesn't have that or unless i just did get didn't get the ticket so that's a downside i really wanted to get like a unique weapon and i'm so glad i got hit with a stupid piece of mud avenge me my teammates and i do the kelby bow actually what what are you shooting at oh oh i'm sorry i'm sorry you're trying to shoot at me okay 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 i got you I was like, what is he shooting at? <laughs> but, um, the Kelby Bow should do, should do fine on this quest because the monsters really aren't strong, especially the next set, because after the Bear, bear Off dies, the Plessy Off come, comes, and then all he does is stands up. Like, he, you know how he does it out of water. He doesn't do anything out of water. I'm like, what? It's, I mean, it's not really, uh, it's not really hard. And as you can see, we just beat the mess out of him really easily. And I didn't even have to use a potion. The only reason I am using the potion is so I can get my potions up to 10. I mean, get my health up to full without, uh, you know, using actually a potion. So I just carved a mega, mega potion off of him. So in essence, you know, I'm just getting my health up just a little bit. Because you never know when that uh, extra hit is going to get get you. I want to know who's next. It's after this, it's the Plesioff and somebody else. Uh, Somebody easy. I'm, I'm really trying to think. This guy says kill Plessy off first. <laughs> I don't know what. Hold on, guys. I scratch my ear. Holy crap! I just spilled the cup. But I had to scratch my ear. Hold on. Okay. I hope that didn't cause too much noise. But yeah, I, I wonder why they blurt out the word kill. I mean, it's a mon it's a game where you fight monsters and you're supposed to kill them. Why would you blurt out the word kill? Like it, it always does that for some odd reason. Come on, Capcom. What are you doing? All right. Now we wait. It's to please you off than somebody else. I just keep forgetting. I don't know who. I really don't. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, and Nibble Snarf. That's who it is. Dang, look how far he flew out the wall. He flew out of nowhere. Wow. Crazy, right? Look how easy to please you off is. Like, he can't, you know he can't even do anything. Oh, gosh. And Nibble Snarf's not even a problem either. Because he just stays on his own side of the turf, you know, kind of. Crap. And what I usually try to do is just try to go for the legs at any time I can, really. Because the Plesioth really doesn't have any um, on land attacks that really affect me that much. And look at that. Just total ownage right there. And look at that. Oh yeah, guys, I'm starting, I'm starting to fall in love with the uh, with these dual swords. Not these in particular, but just dual swords, dual swords in general. Because they're, they're really an interesting weapon. Oh, I knew he's gonna run. I love hitting his back legs. His back legs just look so weak. And this makes me feel feel good by hitting them. I knew it. Yes, I knew that was gonna get a flinch. Heck yeah. Come on, man. Crap. Alright. Yep, and that's oh my gosh. See, that, the Nibble Snarf sometimes does get in the way, but the thing we did last time when I played with uh, the other people last night, uh, what we did is, like, uh, we faced two different monsters at the same, same time. Like, two people faced two other monsters, and it actually kind of worked, too. The Nibble Snarf's not even hard. The only hard Nibble Snarf I ever faced was the Giant one, and that one was just very annoying. And fighting the Giant one to get yeah, our armor spheres really helped me learn the Nibble Snarf's patterns. And it really helped me out uh, into fighting him. So, yeah. Because uh, to get the armor spheres, uh, armor spheres, 
uh, I had to face, well, to fully upgrade my armor I have now, I had to fully, uh, I had to fight the giant devil snarf at least, I want to say, 40 times. So, it was pretty fun. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, oh, come on. Dang, he's annoying. Go ahead and take me a potion. Because I don't like it. Sometimes it's not best if you run and then take the potion. Because you know you die. And it's all that. And I believe that Kill the Bell guy is going to put the, uh... I think he's going to put the, uh, Steel Aragon to sleep next. And the Steel Aragon and the Giganox do not affect each other at all. And as you can see, we are just chopping down these monsters very easily. I love this quest. Really wish there was some kind of reward at the end that would make it worthwhile. <laughs> And for some odd reason, when I put, whenever I put custom colors on this armor, like after each quest, the like each piece fades off. Like if I put like I put like a cyan blue on the on the strings of my. Oh, that's what he was saying. Kill the Giganox first. Okay, but if I um put uh, cyan blue on these, you see what the yellow is on my armor. I put uh, custom colors on that. After each quest, like the helmet will go back to normal color, and then the chest will go back, and then the next mission, the chest and legs will go back. It's just really weird. Very very odd. And the Giganox really won't be a problem at all. Oh yeah, that's exactly where the, the that's exactly where the Giganox spawns too, I believe. No, he spawns about right here, and then the the Aragon spawns on the other side of the map. Now we wait. There he is. Look at that Giggy. And I'm thinking about using my hunting horn a little bit more. Oh god, two screams, man. No, 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 no toxic... Ah, oh, come on, man. Wow, you got owned. It's a pretty small gig, too. It's not a big gig. Oh, great. Now I'm, like, triple toxic. Oh, God. I'm really hoping I can get this off. Come on. Yeah, the toxic really messes you up with the Giganox. Seriously. I mean, it's not cool at all. It takes up so much damage, man. I wish my, uh, I wish my, uh, poison would do that to the two monsters. Like, do it like the toxic effect. Heck yeah. I would be so glad. And I definitely want to detect the, uh, Ergon, mainly because his, um, he was in the, uh, he was in the, the shock trap. Sorry. Dang, look how much health that Toxic took away. I think Toxic takes away at least three full health bars. It seems like it. Watch out. Watch out, Rainbow Guy. I mean, Bow Guy. <laughs> Rainbow Guy. Dang, man. Don't you hate getting hit? This is probably the most, one of the most annoying ones. Don't die, don't die. Okay, good. The Giggy should be almost dead. So that is freaking great. I'm not really worried about the, uh, crap, no. I'm not really worried about the, um, the Aragon right now. Since he's in his own little world. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely about to get exploded by that if I don't jump out the way. Great. Okay, so Giggy is down. Time for Aragon. Hopefully that guy will sleep him. Sleep him. I try to buy, I try to spill uh oh wow, yeah, I definitely need some. I mean, he told us to bring bombs, so. Oh, now that was sweet. That was sweet. That was actually pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. It was sweet. It was neat. Rhyming in the street. Okay. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, alright, guys. This has Melissa K here. 
playing this new event quest that just came out. So, if you want to see more videos like this, please do not forget to check out my other videos and comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you guys next time.